Hey everyone, Aubrey Morrill here, and welcome back to uh, Mystery Molds 1 and 2 Part 2. If you watched the first video, you saw me <clears throat> pour these two different molds, and they were so small that I just decided to do two molds within the first reveal. Um, the first mold was these flowers, and I decided to do a couple of different things with them. Um, a few of them, I ended up cutting off the pour spout, and so I decided to turn those into magnets. And then uh, someone had suggested on my YouTube that I should make them, um, I don't even know what to call them, where they go into your flower pot, you put them on a stick. Um, so on this, the second and third pour, I decided to leave the spout on there and use that as kind of like the stem. So um this is just where i am uh cleaning them up after the bisque fire and um making sure there's no sharp spots and trying to smooth things out um with the cats some of their feet were uneven especially the very first one that i did because i didn't attach that separate foot correctly you can kind of see it wobble in the background there um, but that was just me cleaning everything up and here i am going in with some speedball underglaze um i had bought a huge class pack um back when i did an ornament event so i have 12 pints of <laughs> speedball underglaze but i have had a really rough time getting them to work well for me um so i reached out to speedball and they told me i was using the wrong clear which could definitely be a problem so um they sent me a jar of their speedball clear to go over their underglazes so i decided it was time to give it another try and use the correct clear um so i decided on the first cat to do some kind of like tie-dye look to it and I just watered down a bunch of different colors and just started splotching them on there in different random patterns and overlapping in some areas so that it would combine them a little bit. Um, this was actually quite fun to do, so something I will probably do again as long as it turns out good, right? <laughs> um, hopefully the clear worked well over that. Um, and then the other one i decided i just i love using color so on this other one i decided to do um a colorful leopard print um and then that third one it was just going to be simple with just the eyes and the nose painted because that was the nostalgic one that i remembered from my childhood so um i had to do one of them like that um i'm probably going to just let you guys watch me glaze for a little bit and then I'll come back when um, I start doing the clear on those.
Okay, moving on to the flowers. And with the flowers, I decided to use um, black underglaze and I used the Saks True Flow Jet Black Underglaze. I think you've heard me say it before, but it is my absolute favorite black underglaze to use. Um, it just shows up really well underneath things. And then if you glaze with it on its own, it has such a nice smooth finish to it. And uh, I also decided to use the satin matte glazes on these just for ease because each of the colors is in a little squeezy bottle and um, you can intermix your own colors and they're just so much fun to play with and I love the finish of them. So I didn't really have any plans going into glazing these. I just kind of went with it. <laughs> uh, picked random colors. I didn't necessarily want everything to be like a typical flower color. I wanted them to look vibrant and cute and um, it didn't have to be the color of that flower. So I did do the tops and the backs and the stems of all of them if they had a stem. Um, just you'll see later at the end why I did that way but um, this took quite a while to do, <clears throat> and I even had my daughter hop in there and help me with a couple of them. She wanted to, so, uh, it was fun. We had some bonding time as we were doing that. Um, but since this took a while, I'm gonna leave you guys to watch me glaze a little bit longer, and then I'll be back.
Okay, it was time to open the kiln and I really didn't know what to expect, especially on the cats because of the speedball underglaze is not having worked for me before, but I have to say using that speedball clear glaze, it worked really well with those underglazes. I probably could have added another coat to each color. Um, I thought I really just laid it on thick one time. I didn't go back over all the spots, which I probably should have, but it still looks really cute. Uh, I'm just happy that the clear worked out. Um, so that leopard one was really adorable. And then we have this tie-dye one, and it turned out cute. I was afraid that some of the colors would look kind of muddy. <clears throat> muddy, I'm sorry, I have a cold. Um, and then, but on the spot right above the head, it looks a little bit brown. Like maybe I mixed the pink and the green too much. So it went a little bit brown there, but the rest of it looks really cool. Um, and then on that final one, I just had the clear over just the eyes, the nose, and then it looks really good. That clear is such a nice finish to it. So I'm hoping that fixed all of my speedball problems. <laughs> and then I'm going to pull those flowers out and I fired them on a stilt. Uh, that way I didn't have to put little stilt holes in the bottom of those. On the flat pieces, I still had to do that because there wasn't anything for me to hang them on. Um, but that worked out really well. Nothing fell over and the glazes look really cool. And you can still see the underglaze that we wiped back on there. And the colors are all vibrant. You can see where I missed a spot of underglaze on that one. Um, but they look cute. I'm very happy with them and just how colorful they are and um, I can't wait to see what they look like finished. to attaching the magnets to those uh, four flowers that didn't have the stems and I probably put a little too much glue but I'm gonna keep these so I wasn't too worried about it for myself um, and then for the other ones I found some uh, wooden dowel rods so I just use that and if I'm gonna put them out in the flowers then I'll have to get some metal wire just so that they can withstand the weather but don't those magnets look cute and you can see uh, maybe some shorter profile magnets would look better, but those are cute. I like them. 
and then here are the flowers on the stems and I just kind of put them all around the front so you could see them but I absolutely love that dark blue one it's such a pretty color but they look so cute in the flower <laughs> I love that I'll have to give those away I can't keep them all for myself but this is the end of uh, mystery molds one and two and I really hope you guys enjoyed this and just to see you know how you can turn something that <laughs> may or may not be cute into something cute I just think is so fun and I appreciate you guys watching and uh, you'll have to stay tuned because I have more in the works so I'll see you guys next time <laughs>